that that man just Tony Land just threw a microphone or a camera right in Needle's face. Both back in the ring breaking their account with a monkey flip. This cliffhanger goes on the outside, rolls right back in, trying to confuse Needles. Now they're jockeying for position. Uh, Gord Buster to the outside, sending them over the ropes. That is why Cliffhanger's undefeated. That's why you guys see so much potential in Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger is an absolutely amazing person. Cliffhanger and Needles is going on now. Six minutes left on the clock. The drop kick to Needles knocking him off his feet. Now Needles is stirring on the ground now, crawling, trying to get back up. Oh, win for the run in, but oh, get right to the leg and another drop kick knocking Needles off his feet again. We're going to level down with a headlock. We're now with a headlock just staying in place. Cliffhanger yeah. win five from this one. Three of a 3 0 career. That is an absolutely impressive record. Cliffhanger status has not been affected by that match. And Neil says has not been affected by the match either. Okay. I mean, you think so? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Really looking forward to it. And then another singles contest. We have Uncle Bay. This is for the number one contenders back for I let you be tired. Uncle Bay, the last man did it. With a low contest at the bigger view. But could he do another shot on the bench? I mean, he might be the guy that even his challenger. Be the winner. He's trying to be the winner. The feeling shot down. The feeling very good. Leading into the football. Against all Cobain. Being the bird. Being the bird. The penny. Being the one who's per. Oh, wait. He has something to say. It's a face turn. We haven't seen over a while because we had a lot of heel turns at the pay per view, but now we are seeing to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, this would be the support he needs to win a title in this business. Uncle Ben doesn't seem to care too much. All he cares about is that title and himself. He doesn't care if the fans like him or not. But not long, off that top of Venom versus Uncle Ben. Break it! A rope break. Two very skilled competitors. Venom being the strongest of the two. Uncle Ben being the smartest, of course. Going well, for a kick reverse from Venom. Oh, now with, a, with some fast standing clothesline of Venom. Now just stomping him while he's on the ground. Now jockeying for position, looking to see who's going to gain control now. Standing guillotine. Now with a bear hug to Hawk Bane. Venom using that power to his advantage. Squeezing the air. With this massive bear hug. 
Oh, and squeezing. Uncle Bane. Experiencing so much pain. Just imagine you're in this hold. Those strong arms. Oh, hey, hey. Dropkick from Venom. Just to think someone. There's like a loss of air gone from Uncle Bane now. Went for a flying clothesline, was so close, but Uncle Bane was just too far away. Now with a bow and arrow stretch. Surfboard stretch. Now just pulling the arms, knee inserted right on the spine. And a snapmare, bringing him back up. Turn him around with a gorilla press slam on the apron. Didn't go down to the floor yet. Uncle Bane still good. Uncle Bane has a Plan A, Plan B, Plan C to Z. Whatever you do to him, he will find a way to get the advantage back. I'm over with a nice headlock. Got the rope breaks though. The snapmare didn't keep it in for a submission or a wear down submission. Just did a snapmare quick and easy. Now hit him. Looking to get back on the offense. A stalemate here. Then I'm gonna drop to Cindy. Uncle Bane flying in the air. This man goes down to the ring, out of the ring, back inside now. Quick from from behind. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna drop to the edge of the stage. Then I'm looking right at Shank, the special guest referee. Uncle Bane caught the arm and took another uh, third drop kick to Uncle Bane in this match. And another one. The drop kick seeming to be the, the winning factor here for Venom as he goes up against Uncle Bane. Running right toward him. But I'm not getting flipped on the outside. You can see the high as he went over the ropes down to the floor. The count begins. Two, three. Uncle Bane on the apron now into the ring. Shakes his finger, says no. Oh, and a high cross body. Why is Venom does not go for the pin? He knows that he's a little bit too close to the ropes. A little bit too close than he should be. No, on the adrenaline. Pumped up, hyped up. Picking him up. DT spiking him on his head, Uncle Bane. Now that has got to hurt. And he just punches him while he's down. While he's howling into the air. Shot across the chest. Punching him down. Hands and knees now. All Cobain. Just getting destroyed here in this match against Venom. Venom just too strong. Too much of a powerhouse. Using his power. Before All Cobain can use any of his skill. Back suplex, high on the neck. The impact, absolutely One, horrific. Two. Count of two and a half, Uncle Bane with a kick out. Easy recovery from Uncle Bane. That could have been that though. He could have been the next in line for Isla Eaton into midway championship. Right. That would have break. High crossbody, high angle, with a pin, one, two, check out at two and a half, once again from Al Cobain, although Al Cobain may not have some skill, he still has the fighting spirit, people always look down, and Al Cobain is just a coward, he may be a coward, but he can still fight in that ring, now a little bit tired, exhausted from the beatdown that Venom has been delivering so far in this match,
Hell into the air, off of Bang, still crawling on the floor with four minutes left on the clock. Oh my gosh, he may have tapped out, but still the rope break with a splash from the top rope. Venom literally has beaten down Uncle Bane. He can't even move. If I were the referee, I'd call this match, but still Uncle Bane wants to fight. He still wants to stand up and look Venom face to face and fight him. When is enough enough? Venom is literally gonna drive all the fight out of Uncle Bane as Uncle Bane starts striking. Now in the front, uh, hip toss. Oh, but the force of that hip toss knocking Uncle Bane off his feet as well. Oh, and a side backbreaker. Pendulum. All he needs is a good submission, and then that is it for Uncle Bane. Oh, try to pick him up again. Uncle Bane. For the Gorilla Press Slam. Now heading for the outside of the ring. Definitely a hard fought battle from both of these men. Even if Uncle Bane has barely got any hits in on Bill. Definitely, Uncle Bane must be getting in the head, the psyche of Venom, as he does not quit during these kickouts. He just keeps kicking out. Venom just watching Uncle Bane as he limps his way over to Venom. Oh my God, ascending Venom! Really launching Venom right there with that move. With a flying clothesline, Uncle Bane. Dragging him by the leg, the knee. You can see Uncle Bane grasping for that knee. I guess you can't really beat Venom by yourself, can you? Because Uncle Bane could pin him when it was a triple threat, huh? But now he can't. Almost a minute left. Oh my goodness, what a f sweeping kick. Really sweeping Uncle Bane off his feet. He can't even get up. One minute remaining on the clock. Oh my goodness, that splash missed it, Uncle Bane. Oh, now the adrenaline rush. Oh, a dragon sleeper. Oh, wait, Uncle Bane. Still with another rope break. Now Ben, I'm going to go for the pin. Can that be it? One, two, three. Ben with the win. Ben, incompetent match. They established this encounter established Ben as a face who supports the fans and all Cobain's profess ever after being defeated. It's time for the main event for the lightweight championship. This Viola, the challenger with Outlaw Eaton. Inside the cave, there will be a shoot fight. Until there will be no health or a submission victory. Still on top of the cage. Champion Monica Martinez with the foot. Me, of course, as a referee for any match with a title. The shoot fight begins. Now the drop kick. These two women will fight their hearts out for the right to be called. Oh! Well, blow from Miss Viola. No disqualification. Anything goes in the shoot fight. 
As long as we stay within the confines of the cage. Which of course they can't get out. This is the ball of Northern Light Suplex. From Monica Marquise now. The chemistry of these two women. They know each other so well. Straight up battle. It's going to be a fight for sure with multiple kicks from Miss Viola. Went for a punch, got a block. Oh, well, I got a right suplex. I'm trying to handle getting Outlaw Eaton out of here. Imagine Miss Viola winning the title. She will. She and her boyfriend will be champions of the industry. Oh! Oh, but I was whip. Right here, just a run. Double foot stomp to the chest. Multiple kicks. Monica Marquise with an incredible match with Will, making her just knocking around in the match. Will is on the mat with a bed rest as they're taking part of an injury. Done that match. Dropped a hole right on the face of Miss Viola. Just to go over the rules, submissions, or until no health is shown by these two. They're trapped in the cage, nowhere to go. Who will take home the title in the main event of tonight's show? That is what we're here to find out. Nowhere to go. Stalemate here, folks. Monica Marquis has been changing for a reason. She's such a... Oh my gosh. Hurting Miss Viola dearly. Because as you heard the screech, still a rope break for the fly. Miss Viola ain't gonna quit though. Got out of it. Both went flying. With a 10 minute time on it. Out of ground and pound. Cray for this guy's cage. Before the announcement next week, we'll be in a hexagon ring. With the main event being me versus Shanka in a more contenders match. In a cold fashioned UFC fight. No ropes. Just a cage. UFC style who will be announced as the <laughs> number one contender. But a lying headlock now for Michael Marquis. Will the Viola find a way out of it? Imagine Michael Marquis retaining the title once again. But that would be a feat. I got it on metal. Oh, what a single is my own. Monkey slam. No one in Delta has to sit outside the ring. Yeah, we don't know where with the cage around for the drug kick for Monica. Miss Viola not doing so well. Then they're right into the cage. Miss Viola, oh my goodness, staggering. Still the lightweight champion, Monica Marquise. Still the champion. Cemented her reign by defending the lightweight championship. Good job to Monica Marquise. And Miss Viola's profile has suffered after losing that match. Mid winner is happy that Monica won. And then Resident Revolution has failed to beat Strong Style. Time to send it in. 74% on the rating, still number eight. Let's see where we're going to be going to next.
Oh no. Outlaw Eden's feud with Shank appears to have lost momentum and is no longer over with the fans. We unlocked this contract with Revolution has expired. You know, why is upset that he hadn't wasn't used on last week's show? So was Alan Gator. Sh Shank is upset that he was promised a title push but doesn't currently hold one. And Widow has current is recovered from her injury and looks forward to getting back into the ring. Leon Lockley, let's talk about your future here, old friend. Okay. Fifty one dollars. Splinters McGuigan. Now this is going to be interesting. $18,700. Seems good to me. We're going to be at PopQ New Guinea. Next week. 